is practically complete. The Taliban fighters have also captured the key in the last government stronghold in northern Afghanistan, which is the capital of the Balk province, the city of mazar -e sharif surrendered to the Taliban without offering a fight. This, remember, is the fourth largest city in Afghanistan. It previously was regarded as an anti-Taliban bastion. It is a huge gain for the Taliban to actually capture mazar -e sharif without even a fight. Reports say that there was little resistance from the Afghan forces and the warlords who were loyal to the Afghan forces, such as Abdul Rashid Dostum and also Ata Muhammad Noor, who had led a militia resistance in the city to support the Afghan government forces, fled to Uzbekistan, about and 30 lui è kilometers to the north. Muhammad Noor later tweeted that he and his men had been betrayed by the Afghan security forces since all the government and the defense equipment was handed over to the Taliban and therefore they too had to defect to the Taliban. There are several strategic reasons as to why the control of Mazar-e Sharif eh, is very volta. important. Non son più Remember, di una volta. Mazar-e Sharif was not easy for the Taliban to da dove to to le loro armi. Rule. It had won control of Mazar-e Sharif in 1997 but then the Taliban lost Mazar-e Sharif within a span of a week and had to wait for more than a year to reconquer it in 1998. Mazar-e Sharif is in proximity to three neighboring nations, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan and Tajikistan. And the inhabitants of the city are predominantly Uzbeks and Tajiks besides Turkmens. Oltre agli Azara, Azara in one of the most Afghani. fertile regions of Afghanistan. It produces cotton, grain, heroin. The main industries include flour, <laughs> non te la sei dimenticata. Also the manufacturing of silk and cotton textiles. Eh, certo. The region is connected by road and also by air with Kabul, which is just about 200 miles to its southeast. It is the country's chief transit point for Central Asian trade. Now, the most important of Afghanistan's three existing railway lines, in fact, connects mazar -e sharif to Hairatan Station right at the border with Uzbekistan. The line is currently run by the Uzbek Railways and connects with the rail network of Uzbekistan that in turn connects to Russia. Mazar -e Sharif's airport is also used by the NATO led forces, including the Afghan. No, Air non la useranno più. Guardalo il buffone. The President Ashraf Ghani had traveled to the city just days ago. The loss of Mazar -e Sharif is a huge blow for the Ashraf Ghani government and also. His forces just asked before the fall of Mazar -e Sharif, the Afghan president Ashraf Ghani had addressed the nation and he had vowed to prevent further bloodshed. 26 out of Afghanistan's 34 provinces have already fallen in the hands of the Taliban. But what you're looking at on your screens are the areas that are under Taliban's control. The provinces of Balkh, Faryab, Pakteka, Patkia and Kunar are the latest to join the list. US President Joe Biden has also ramped up efforts to safely evacuate American personnel and other allied personnel. Approximately 5,000 US troops have been deployed for the same. Joe Biden has also warned that any action on Taliban's part ah, on the ground that puts American fai. personnel at risk scappa, Joe, will be scappa, met some swift and scappa. strong U.S. military response as the Americans are beating a hasty retreat out of Afghanistan. And also American Secretary of State Anthony Blinken reportedly spoke with Afghan President Ashraf Ghani Vietnam punto due. According to the U.S. State Department, The Secretary of State e finirà così anche in Iraq. Ve lo dico. 
with the government of Afghanistan and the Ashraf Ghani, provided that the government even survives. Secretary Blinken will also be engaging with key regional stakeholders as well.